I had planned to finish recording this video a couple of weeks ago, but I've been a bit ill and definitely not camera ready. Sorry. There have been a lot of videos on YouTube over the past few months about people switching to Resolve. I wasn't planning to jump on that bandwagon, but I think I'm going to be switching to Resolve. So I've been thinking about switching from Premiere Pro and After Effects and Audition to DaVinci Resolve ever since about version 11. The editing features, that was when they started adding them, but they weren't really great. There was a few bugs, there was features missing that I thought were pretty essential. So I've kept going back to it every few months just to see how it's doing with each new version. Finally at version 16, I think it's about where it needs to be to really, really compete with all of the other established editing applications. So I've decided to give it a bit more of a go. A couple of weeks ago, Blackmagic got in touch with me and said, hey, we're running a, a training thing for press and media, and would you like to come along? And I said, yes, absolutely. So we've just finished day one, and it turns out that this is something that you guys can go on as well. They're doing like a whole big tour bus around Europe thing, but we'll have more information on that coming up later on. It's answered probably 95% of the questions I had about DaVinci Resolve and, and some of the things that I didn't know how to do that I wanted to know how to do. I feel pretty confident now that at least for my own stuff, I'm probably gonna be switching to DaVinci Resolve. So I wanna talk a little bit about why I'm gonna be doing that. Um, and talk about some of my favorite features that I really like in this over how they work in Premiere. But as I said, we just finished day one and we're all about to head out somewhere for dinner, so I'm not gonna get into it now. I've no idea what time we're gonna be back, so I may be talking to you when you see me again, or we may just jump straight to the Black Magic bus. But for now, I'm, yeah, I'm going. They're waiting for me. See you in a bit. So we are currently on Black Magic's magical mystery bus that's going to be going touring around. I'm still here with Simon from Black Magic, and he's going to tell us all about it. Yeah, this is our Black Magic truck. We're going to supply hands-on training to people, specifically aimed around editing, but all the other tools that Resolve has to offer. So we've got two-hour training sessions where people can just come and learn about Resolve, and then sort of go away and download the application for free. We are doing 60 dates around Europe. Uh, we start next week at BSC in London, and from there we go to Paris, and we go all the way down to Turkey. We're going to go up through Russia, right across the top, all the way through Scandinavia and then back down to the UK. As well as having the hands-on sessions, we've got two machines that are showing all the hardware that goes around Resolve. So we've got the grading panels, we've got the new editing keyboard where people can come and kind of see how the hardware works with Resolve as well as getting hands-on experience. So people who are interested in joining one of our sessions, they can go onto our website to sign up. Um, it should go live very, very soon, so keep checking back. Um, and if you're very interested in learning about Resolve, please come and drop in. Right, so that's it from the truck for now. I will see you back at my computer. So yeah, I'm back home now and it's been a couple of weeks, but I've been playing with Resolve a lot more. Partially because I understand it better now, so it's easier to do stuff, and also because my buddy Alex has been all, John, you need to start using Resolve. But first, I want to give a big thank you to Blackmagic for inviting me along to the event. It has helped me immensely with understanding Resolve and being able to use it somewhat effectively. I wanted to start making the switch to Resolve as soon as version 16 was announced at NAB last year, but my biggest challenge was finding the time to sit down and really take a proper look at it. I've played with it occasionally since version 16 was released, but I've just not been able to really take a deep dive into it. So the training event allowed me to dedicate a couple of days to figuring stuff out and having an expert there on hand to help answer my weird questions. But I have pretty much switched to Resolve for my own video projects now. I still have a couple that I need to finish off in Premiere Pro, but from here on out, I plan to do all my new videos in DaVinci Resolve. I don't think I'm going to be going into Resolve tutorial territory here on YouTube as there are a few people out there already doing that really, really well. But I do want to show you a few of the things that I really, really like about Resolve. First up, let's talk about optimized media. We've all come across it at some point where footage plays back choppy while we're editing. In most other applications, you need to transcode or use proxies to be able to edit smoothly. In Resolve, there's no need to do that. You can still do it if you want to, but Resolve has a feature simply called 
generate optimized media. In your project settings, you can set up exactly what format you want to use for your optimized media, as well as your render cache. You can change your resolution as well as the codec that plays back smoothly on your machine. I've always had great results with Avid's DNX codec, so here I'm using Avid DNX HR low bandwidth. You can apply optimized media to individual clips on your timeline, including all the effects, or you can apply it to all of your source footage at once. When it comes time to render, Resolve still uses your original source files, not the easy to chew optimized files, so you still get the maximum quality. Next, stabilization. Premiere Pro made big news when it got the warp stabilization feature, and it's become a big part of many people's workflows. I've used it a lot in my own videos, especially when shooting handheld, and I just want to smooth things out a little bit. But Resolve also has stabilization, but it's way faster than the warp stabilizer in Premiere Pro, and in my opinion, it actually creates a more natural, smooth footage. Premiere Pro's warp stabilizer is pretty aggressive by default, and you often have to take the time to tweak those settings to get smooth footage. You can tweak the settings in Resolve too, but I found that it mostly gets things looking great right out of the box with the defaults, and it processes the footage much faster. Warp Stabilizer does have one advantage over Resolve Stabilization though. Warp Stabilizer runs in the background. You can apply it to your clip and then you can carry on editing wherever else in your timeline while it does its thing in the background. With Resolve, a box pops up and you have to wait, but honestly it takes so relatively little time to do it in Resolve that it's not really been an issue for me. Yes, it would be nice to see some kind of background processing added in the future though. Right, time to talk about Blackmagic Raw. Resolve obviously supports Blackmagic RAW natively. The clue's in the name. Their codec, their software. Not much of a surprise. But what impresses me is just how well it handles it. The machine I've been doing these screen captures on isn't an amazingly high spec machine. I built it about seven years ago. It's an eight core, four gigahertz AMD 8350 with 16 gig of RAM on an Asus Sabertooth 990 FX motherboard with a pretty old Nvidia GTX 760 GPU. But it still has basically no problem handling 4K B-RAW footage at all, even with color correction and effects applied. And if it does start to get a little choppy, I can always just optimize the media. Another thing I like about Resolve is that it has Fairlight built in for doing all your audio processing and mixing. I haven't delved too deep into Fairlight yet, and I certainly haven't done anything advanced, but I'm not having to shell out to Audition or another audio application to get rid of preamp hiss and balance clips out makes a big difference to workflow speed. The same point holds for Fusion, which is now built into Resolve for your motion graphics and visual effects. There are a whole bunch of other features that I haven't mentioned, like the face refinement tool, collaboration features, remote rendering, the new cut page, dual timelines, adjustment clips, object removal, quick exports, dual monitor layouts, UI customization, crazy good masking and tracking, and so much more. So yeah, it's pretty much a done deal for me. If you haven't tried Resolve yet, it's worth taking a look. There's a completely free version available and there's no time limit on it. You can keep using it forever and it has most of the features from the main studio version. I don't think the complete feature comparison list between the studio and free versions has been updated to version 16 yet, but as soon as I see that it has, I'll add a link down in the description below. As for the Blackmagic Tour Bus, well, that's already winging its way around Europe, and I'll pop a link to their tour schedule down below in the description as well. There are limited spots on each stop, so you'll want to book early if you're interested in going, but it's completely free, so it's worth checking out if you've been thinking about making the jump to resolve, or if you've already done it, but you still have a few questions. For now though, I think that's it. If you like this video, drop a thumbs up below and subscribe and turn on the notifications if you want to see new videos as they come out. If you have any questions about Resolve, ask away in the comments below. I can't guarantee I'll have the answers, but if I can help, then I will. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.